Welcome to the Space Dojo Code Kata. I'm Josh Owens, and today we're going to talk about Hotel. If you aren't familiar with it, Hotel is an easy way for you to automatically start applications on your machine without having to worry about things like the port or, um, you know, how, what's the exact command to get everything started. Like you can just save all that information and get everything started for you. It's really, really easy to get set up and get running. And I find it super helpful, especially because I work on multiple projects at any given time. And so to me, the reason to use Hotel is because I can automatically set up the proxy config so that it will let me do fancy domain names, uh, which makes things easier to work with one password or last pass or anything like that. Um, you can also, it makes it so that when you're using something like rescue time to track the web apps that you're working on, like you'll get that nice domain name there. So I know I spent like 35 minutes working on this client site. So I use that with Waka time and I can kind of tell how long I'm spending on a client project, give or take. Uh, and then also you don't have to remember those ports anymore, like I said, and any time that I need to, I can just go in and start any application that I want without having to remember anything or even having to open a console if I don't want to. So let's get started. So we'll just do an npm install dash g hotel and that's going to pull it down for us, install it. I actually already have it installed, so I'm going to stop it and then restart it so that we get the latest version running. There we go. So now it's running on localhost 2000. And we get this nice interface that comes down. And you can see here, I've already got some apps set up. So if I hit here on CritterConf and just flip this button, and we can click here, we can see the log, it's starting it up. Uh, this is actually using Jekyll automatically. And so I can go to this URL here, and we should see the CritterConf website. Perfect, great. Super easy, right? And I don't have to remember, how do I start Jekyll again? Uh, same thing works with Meteor apps, you know? So I can go, let's let's get a Meteor app added. I'm in uh, the Space Dojo show podcast site. And so all you have to do here is hotel add. And then we'll do Meteor. We'll give it the settings so that we get the settings file, give it the port, and we just use dollar sign port, so it's just gonna pass in an environment variable for us, and then we do dash o app.log, and that's just gonna be an output file in the local directory. And so now if we go back over, we should see Space Dojo Show here at the bottom. We can turn that on. You can see it's starting up the Meteor app for us now. And this is the log, the, the actual running log. And this is also what, what's getting spit out in that app.log. So if we tailed that instead, you can see we're getting the same log right there. And then once it gets started, we get the URL. And there's the app running. pretty handy. So, and this is where things get really interesting, we can go in and configure a uh, proxy automatic configuration file and it will start resolving the name to a port for us and we don't have to, rem we, we won't even have to know what these random, you know, localhost 60105 Instead, we can just use the proxy config and then we'll get, we'll get all that for free. So since I'm on a Mac, I'm gonna show you how to do it on a Mac. So we just go in here to our network 
And then I'm on Ethernet. So if we go to Advanced, you can go to Proxies, and there's this automatic proxy configuration. Check this off, and then we get this localhost 2000 slash proxy.pack file. And once you do that, then you can uh, then you can come in here and just say space dojo show dot dev and it's going to automatically resolve that for us and take us to that port so it's amazing so now I can go to uh, crater conf dot dev and now it's pulling up the same website and if the apps not started and you try to hit that URL it's actually going to detect that and it's going to start it for you so super super handy the other great part is you can go to uh, let's see so in particular when doing like mobile development using Cordova, um, using location services, you have to have SSL turned on. So let's try that. So I've got this City Forks app we can start up. And if I just click here, it'll take me to it once it starts. And so we can go to https colon slash slash cityforks.dev. And uh, if, if you figure out how to trust the certificate, then you should not get that warning anymore. It's just a locally set up cert that's not legit. But you can see now we're totally working over https. So now like it's it's using my location and this app's running and pulling up the map and whatnot. So super, super handy. I would highly recommend getting hotel installed. Again, like there's a numerous reasons that you might want to use it. Um, least of which is, you know, just not having to remember how to start things anymore. And there are other solutions out there, but this doesn't require you to run on port 80. Um, this doesn't require you to monkey with your host file or use sudo or anything like that. Uh, everything runs on localhost 2000. There's even when you go into hotel, there's a if you like the um, you know the little menu bar up top, you can install this OSX app, which gives you a hotel menu bar component up there that you can use. So super super handy. Give it a look. Thanks for watching. And remember, if you give this one 50 likes, I'll make another one right after it. So.